Welcome to Islamvids.com for this exploration of the scientific miracles mentioned in the Quran. Get ready to discover fascinating facts that connect modern science to ancient texts. For centuries, the Quran, the holy book of Islam, has fascinated and intrigued. Today we're going to look at verses that seem to describe with astonishing accuracy scientific phenomena discovered much later. Get ready to challenge your perspectives and explore the deep connections between faith and reason. Together, we're going to dive into the depths of the cosmos, explore the complexities of the human body, and wonder about the mysteries of creation. Whether you're passionate about science, a devout believer, or simply curious to learn more, this exploration promises to be full of discoveries. In the Quran, uh, Surah 51, verse 47, it is written, and the heaven, we have built it with power, and indeed we are expanding it. Pretty bold, right? Especially when you know that this text was revealed more than 1400 years ago. At the time, everyone thought the universe was static. It wasn't until the 20th century, thanks to the revolutionary work of Edwin Hubble, that we discovered that the universe is constantly expanding. Imagine entire galaxies moving away from each other at incredible speeds, like dots on a balloon being inflated. The Quran, long before telescopes and complicated calculations, evokes this phenomenon with disconcerting simplicity. This link between the sacred text and scientific discovery is disturbing to say the least. Simple coincidence? Or does it suggest a knowledge that goes beyond our current understanding of the universe? The Quran is not limited to the cosmos, it also talks about the earth. Verse 16 of Surah 78 tells us, And he has cast into the earth firmly set mountains, lest it should shake with you. For a long time we saw mountains as simple landforms. Today geology teaches us that they are essential to the stability of the earth's crust. Their deep roots sink into the earth's mantle and act as stabilizers against tectonic movements. Imagine huge stakes holding a tent against strong winds. The Quran, centuries before the discovery of plate tectonics, described the importance of mountains for our planet. Again, where does this seemingly timeless knowledge come from? The miracle of life has always fascinated. How does a human being develop from a single cell? The Quran, in Surah 23, verses 12 to 14, describes the stages of embryonic development with astonishing accuracy. Then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot, and we made the clot into a lump of flesh. And we made from the lump bones, and we clothed the bones with flesh. Then we developed him into another creation. This verse, revealed at a time when observation instruments were basic, accurately describes the phases of the formation of a human being in the womb. From fertilization to the formation of bones and muscles, the Quran is consistent with modern scientific knowledge. It even uses precise terms that echo the vocabulary of embryology today. This scientific accuracy, revealed centuries ago, testifies to a knowledge that seems incredible for the time. How can we explain this similarity between the sacred text and recent scientific discoveries? The Quran invites us to reflect on the mysteries of creation and the complexity of life. Have you ever seen two seas meet without mixing? It's a fascinating phenomenon described in the Quran, Surah 55, verses 19 and 20. He released the two seas, meeting side by side. Between them is a barrier, so neither of them transgresses. Today, oceanography explains this phenomenon to us. When two seas of different densities meet, an invisible barrier forms. This barrier, due to the difference in salinity and temperature, prevents the waters from mixing immediately. The Quran, long before these discoveries, already described this separation of waters. It doesn't just talk about a separation, but about an impassable barrier. This description, consistent with scientific observations, is astonishing. How can an ancient text contain information that we will only understand centuries later? Water, the source of life, is essential. Its permanent cycle, evaporation then rain, is indispensable. The Quran, Surah 39, verse 21, describes this cycle. Do you not see that Allah sends down rain from the sky and makes it flow as springs and rivers in the earth? This verse summarizes the hydrological cycle. Water evaporates, forms clouds, then falls back as rain, feeding rivers and groundwater. 
The Quran, long before we understood this cycle, described it accurately. With measure suggests a precise quantity of water, an idea of balance. This description invites us to preserve this vital resource. Let's dive into the abyss where darkness reigns. The Quran, Surah 24, verse 40, describes this darkness. Or, the example of those who disbelieve is like one lost in a deep sea covered by waves, above which are waves, above which are clouds. This image evokes the darkness of the abyss. Beyond a certain depth, light disappears. The Quran describes this scientific reality. The expression, waves covered by clouds, can be a metaphor for the layers of darkness that overlap. This poetic and accurate description reminds us of the mysteries of the oceans. Or, oh, yes indeed, we are able to reconstruct his fingertips. Surah 75, verse 4. This sentence may seem simple, but it reveals a recently discovered scientific truth. The uniqueness of fingerprints. Everyone has unique fingerprints that do not change. We use them today to identify people. The Quran, more than 1400 years ago, already mentioned this anatomical peculiarity. It doesn't just mention their existence, but emphasizes their ability to uniquely identify someone. Impressive, right? Impressive. Where does life come from? The Quran, Surah 21, verse 30, tells us, And we made from water every living thing. This simple statement aligns with recent scientific discoveries. Modern science confirms that water is essential for life. It is a universal solvent which allows the chemical reactions necessary for life. Water is also crucial for the structure and function of cells. The Quran, long before these discoveries, affirmed the link between water and life. A statement full of wisdom that invites us to preserve water. How was the universe born? The Quran, Surah 41, verse 11, describes the early universe as smoke. Then he directed himself to the heaven while it was smoke. This image may surprise you, but it echoes the Big Bang theory. According to this theory, the universe was born from an explosion about 13.8 billion years ago. Just afterward, the universe was a dense, hot magma of particles. This magma, as it cooled, created atoms, then stars and galaxies. The Quran describes this early state as smoke, an image that corresponds to the hot, dense state of the universe after the Big Bang. Disturbing, isn't it? Thanks for watching, and if you found this exploration fascinating, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Exploring the links between science and spirituality is a never-ending journey. The Quran invites us to question the mysteries of the universe. I hope these discoveries have sparked your curiosity. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments.